been a little bit, but I am ready to get back to some Linda and Tom, y'all. Let's do this. Welcome back to Eddie B TV. I am, of course, Eddie B. Nice to see y'all. And we are back at you again today for another reaction video. And uh, ready to continue on with the Gimme, Gimme, Gimme. Funny ass show, man. I've loved it since the first episode. I'm still trying to get to know all the lingo and all that stuff, you know. And some of the people in the comments have been like a little, oh man, this yank. I love that word, by the way. <laughs> of, uh, you know, I don't really understand too much and I have to get confirmation from you guys. But hey, hopefully you guys can um, still continue to school me on what I'm not understanding in the show. But uh, I've been into it since the beginning and um, it, it's just been a really funny show, you know. I, I gotta take on a few more. I've gotten some suggestions. Um, some suggestions for new shows to get into and uh, I'm keeping those in mind you might have to remind me a little bit so I don't forget you know just letting y'all know but uh, yes we are definitely having fun with this one so we're going uh, we're going to get into another uh, episode uh, we are in season two and this is going to be the fourth episode and it's going to be titled prison visitor hmm well, <laughs> just the name of this episode and knowing uh, Linda and Tom, how they act, man, I can only imagine how this one's going to be. Yeah, I'm ready to be, you know, shocked and uh, overall just be a uh, human, funny, you know, this is going to be a funny episode. I can already, I can just feel it in my bones. So yeah, man, no more talk. Let's just go ahead and do this. Uh, gimme, 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 season two, episode four, Prison Visitor. And if you like this reaction, please a like button for me one time subscribe to the channel ring that bell and uh leave a nice comment for your boy constructive critiques leave a nice suggestion or request and uh, throw a couple jabs jokes and zingers at me friendly dialogue no drama here all right you guys know the deal so uh yeah man i'm ready to do this one man it's been a little bit since i uh since i've gotten to this uh show you know work's been kicking my ass trying to catch up on sleep because i'm just burnt out <laughs> but we are here now the light is going good let's do this Gimme, 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 Season 2, Episode 4, Prison Visitor, right here on Eddie B TV. We are back for another one, y'all. Let's have some fun. All right, here we go. Hi, Linz. Hi, Lindy. Hi. Hi. How did your audition go? Really well, really well. Slight hiccup, though. I was doing the monologue from Peter Pan and I couldn't remember what Tinkerbell's name was. <laughs> it's Tinkerbell. <laughs> the first line is Tinkerbell, 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 so I just ended up miming it. <laughs> I don't think they noticed. Tom, does the bowl need bleaching again? What's that smell? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. It's a little puss puss. Oh, no wonder the flat's so rank. Oh, look at its eyes, Lindy. Look. No, the only place for cat's eyes is in the middle of the road. <laughs> Bin it! <laughs> You're so cattish. It'll crap everywhere, Tom. <laughs> Kate Winslet could come in here and crap on the sofa and I'd still tell her to get out. <laughs> De Moose is staying. The what? <laughs> That's what I'm calling her. <laughs> no, I always said if I had a pet, I'd call it Elaine. Well, you can call it Elaine, and I'm calling it Demoose. I spoke to my agent earlier on today. She said there was a part going on Coronation Street. <laughs> the Battersby's are getting a cat. Auditions are next week. <gasps> oh, Tom, you'd be brilliant. Yes, I No, not me, it's for the cat. <laughs> <laughs> this cat could earn us five grand a week, could earn us a small fortune. Hey. Do you want to stroke it? No. Come on, Lindy, come on. De Moose, this is Lindy, OK? <laughs> Hold out your hand. The one without the warts. <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> Designer clothes and claws don't go together. Bin it. <laughs> I pity you and your attitude to pets, Linda. Beanie? Pets have made this Was nation. That? Pets Beanie? have made us what we are today. Pets win prizes. <laughs> Tom, I ain't a pussy person. <laughs> when people look at me, they don't think cat, they think dog. Yeah, yeah. Come on, 
I need cool. you to write me a letter. Come on, I'll dictate, you uh, scribble. No, I won't. Write it or I'll batter the cat. <laughs> it's run for your life. <laughs> All right, come on, get on with it. Who's it to? It's to this gorgeous hunk out of the paper. All right. OK. <clears throat> Dear Freddie, yeah. my name is Linda La Hughes. I have got gorgeous red hair and a figure like Raquel Welsh in Journey to the Centre of My Earth. Raquel Welsh? Who is that? And a face like Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> say or I'll sit on the cat. Oh, don't do it, don't do it. I was so sad when I read your interview and how you said that you never get no visitors and that you are so lonely in there. So, if you want me to come, then, honey, I am all yours. <laughs> all my love, Lindy. Kiss, kiss, love heart, kiss. Kiss, kiss, love heart, kiss. Oh, that's quite sweet. Is he in hospital? No, you haven't done the envelope yet. Oh, yeah. right. OK. Go on. Windrush. Windrush. 9292. 9292. <laughs> Wormwood Scrubs. <laughs> oh. Oh, I've just about heard it all now. Are you trying to tell me that you're so desperate you trawl through Her Majesty's prison system to find yourself a life partner? <laughs> you're just jealous cos you never thought of it first. <laughs> They're all up to your tricks in there, you know. <laughs> but once they get on the outside, it's bye-bye bottom, hello breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Do we even know what he's in for? I don't know, it didn't say. Do you want to see his picture, Tom? He's gorgeous. No, I want no part of this subversive scheme. It's time to feed Fluffy Bun. Yeah, well, at least I lay my affections on human beings, you weirdo. Why normal to develop feelings for fluffy animals? Look at Richard Gere. <laughs> uh, Cindy Crawford was a right dog. <laughs> right, I'm going to go post me letter. See ya. Bye. What's that there that's so fascinating? Is Michael Owen doing naked star jumps? <laughs> Don't you have any sense of occasion, you homophobic harlot? <laughs> I've just let the moose out for the very first time. <laughs> I remember when I was let out for the very first time. I was six months old. <laughs> Daddy tied me to the back of Auntie Sue's Alsatian and sent me down the shops. <laughs> Little sign in me hand, 40 B and H. <laughs> Oh, look, she's nibbling on a herbaceous border. <laughs> oh. Herbaceous border. oh, look, now she's washing herself. Oh, lickety lick, 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 lick. <laughs> Blimey, if I could do that, I'd never go out. <laughs> yeah, Tom, that. does that say one with scrubs? <gasps> read it to me, please, read it to me, read it to me. Yes, it's a visiting order for next Friday. Yes! I'm going to be a prison visitor. I'm going to be a prison visitor. <laughs> shut up, shut up. Freddie Windrush? Is this the same Freddie Windrush as in Freddie the Stick Windrush? <gasps> the Stick? That must mean he's nice and lanky. <laughs> <laughs> when I played Reggie Cray's chiropodist in Dead Men Don't Wear Mauve... <laughs> I had to read up all about East End serial killers, and if I'm not very much mistaken, Mr Windrush is in for a series of brutal batterings. <gasps> oh, no! Yeah. Did he get life? I think, Linda, that he did. Oh, no, that's dreadful. <laughs> Still, there's always conjugal visits. <laughs> but, Linda, he's a monster. But he's my monster! But, Linda, he's killed people! <laughs> oh, it was probably an accident. Linda, <laughs> a small child wetting itself is an accident. A pensioner falling off a stairlift is an accident. <laughs> Murdering people to death is an entirely different league. <laughs> You've always got to put a dampener on things, ain't ya? Every time I meet a bloke, it's, oh, his clothes are vile, oh, his breath stinks. Oh, he's a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to get some cleavage blusher. Where's my gyro? Oh. We need that money for food. Tom, I've got a date on Friday. You think I'm going to eat? <laughs> You're a big piece, aren't you? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Here, I brought you some grapes. I ain't in hospital. <laughs> That's a shame. 
I look fab in a nurse's uniform. <laughs> I used to have a uniform. Straight jacket. They said I was psycho. <laughs> <laughs> How can I be a film? <laughs> <laughs> Because my nickname at school was Rosemary's Baby. <laughs> Which is stupid, because my mummy's called Queenie. <laughs> oh, look, you got a tattoo. What does that say? Mummy. Oh, were you close to your old girl as well? Nah, it's short for mummification. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> oh, I got a bit of juice dribbling down my chin. Mmm, <laughs> you got a filthy mind, didn't you? <laughs> Can I ask you something? Yes, they are real. <laughs> when I get out of here, will you look after me? <laughs> but, Freddie, you're not getting out. You're in for life. That's how I did. You keep the bed warm for me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm quite shy and retiring. <laughs> I was going to be a nun. <laughs> Love the rosaries, the church, the abbey. It's just a rug munching I couldn't get into. <laughs> I ain't had a woman in five whole years. <gasps> then, Freddie, yes, I will keep the bed warm for you. <laughs> so, um, what do you get up to in here, then, Freds? I'm on an access course in anatomy. <laughs> Specialised subject, the scar. Oh. I study photographs in the prison library. Oh, oh, that reminds me. <laughs> I brought some snaps. <laughs> C'est moi. <laughs> They're laminated, so they're, uh, wiped clean. <laughs> nice gash! <laughs> That's where I had my appendix out. It's like a little smile, isn't it? It's the same shape as the Trevi Fountain. Oh. It's beautiful, baby. Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> Seems to be her dream right now. I told you I'd come, baby. Promises, promises. Show me a gash now. Mr. Windrush! <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> there you go, mother. Oh, my God. to have a cat, but it was bad. That's Tom's pride and joy. Tom? The fella I live with. What? I thought you were my bitch. And all along is some Tom's bitch. <laughs> it's not Ben Tom Parsnip from Stepney Green, is it? I'll have him. No, it's Ben Tom Farrell from Kentish Town. <laughs> the freaky fraudster with a frightening fringe. No, it's not that sort of Ben. I'll give you a clue. It rhymes with homosexual. <laughs> If he grasses me up, then he'll have to die. Oh, don't say that. Sorry, babe. Habit of a lifetime. <laughs> I know. We'll have to pretend you're someone else. Oh, and we mustn't let him go anywhere near the television. You're probably all over the news. <laughs> Let's run away, babes. Oh, yes, Fred. Where to? I've got mates in Benidorm. Oh, I love Italy. <laughs> now, Spain, babe. Oh, yeah, that Benny Dawn. <laughs> I've ordered false passports. Go on, get some sun on your pasty skin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Oh. Oh. Hello. Got any snap? What? Um, Tom, this is, um, Fritz, my long-lost German cousin. All right. <laughs> but he's got a Cockney accent. I can have one if I want one, you nuts! Right, uh, Tom, you should be impressed. I mean, even you can't do a Cockney accent and you're English. <laughs> yes, I can. Yes, I can. Listen, listen. 
Apples and pears strike a light. <laughs> That's a Cockney accent. Someone's You're an actor, on aren't you? Yeah. Yes, I knew it. I've seen you somewhere, haven't I? I've seen you on the television. Do you want to see my show reel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what we do in England is that we record everything we've ever done on television and then we just play it to people. Come on, it'll only take five minutes. Have a look. No, Tom, the television's broke. Is it? <laughs> it is now. <laughs> Fritzy's in a bit of a bad mood this morning, aren't you, Fritzy? Have you had a row with your agent or something? Oh, mine's crap. I call her every day and she says to me, I would get you work, but no one will employ you. <laughs> I mean, what's that all about? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, darling. <laughs> <laughs> very tactile, your distant relatives. Well, Germans are very misunderstood, Tom. You want to meet Fritzi's mum, Elga? She's sit on your face as soon as look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, well, anyway, oh. anyway. So, Fritz, what brings you to England? An audition or something? Any parts in it for me? What is this? 20 bloody questions! Oh, God, you're so like me. Keep it a secret so the competition doesn't get a look in. Very wise, very wise! <laughs> Sorry, Tom. Huh? I didn't mean to shout at you. I'm on an anger management course in the nick. <laughs> of time. It's <laughs> <laughs> all right. I was a supporting artist on Oliver Twist. <laughs> Do you know it? No, no, no. Fritz, no. Stop it, stop it. Stop it, Fritz. <laughs> Cheers, mate. How did you do that? Me and cats have an unspoken language. We can communicate. It's easy. But, but that's fantastic. How did you learn to do that? It's a secret. Will you teach me? Will you teach me? Right. I'm going to go pack. Pack, pack? Where are you going? Nowhere. Pack. It's German for put the bins out. <laughs> So, Maybe um, got some. Fritz, you can uh, teach a cat to do almost anything? Within reason. I do have morals, you know. Yes. <laughs> this is fantastic. You couldn't have come at a better time. It's so exciting. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, my showbiz emotions just ran away with me there. <laughs> it's all right, John boy. I quite liked it. <laughs> I was not about the ass in these. Oh. God, I wish my agent would ring. She's going to be so pleased with Demoose. Fritz has got her doing all sorts out there. First time I've ever seen the cat doing the can-can. <laughs> so, fingers crossed, that cat is heading for soap superstardom. <laughs> ah, my liege! What news from court? <laughs> I'd have been fantastic in Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> the passports are at the left luggage at Heathrow, babe. <laughs> That's very good. Now, where's that from? Let me guess, let me guess. I'm thinking cockney villains. I'm thinking Helen Mirren in batwing sleeves. Long Good Friday! <laughs> Aye? That'll be my agent. Won't be long. Come here, you. Don't mention the passports in front of the puff. <laughs> they didn't have a photo of you, so I told them to use one of Sue Pollard and paint it auburn. Ah. Oh. <laughs> All we need now is hard cash. How much are we talking? Well, first up, I thought we'd need 20 quid. Then I realised I was making my calculations based on 1963 prices. Don't ask me why. So, <laughs> taking into account inflation and the fact that neither of us will be wearing hot pants... You speak for yourself. <laughs> the amount we really need is three and a half grand. Bugger! <laughs> Hang on. Bugger. We get five grand if the cat gets the part in Corrie. Get out there and get training it. <laughs> 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 well, let's put it this way, Norma. The cat is heading for the top. <laughs> well, if you didn't call to speak about the cat, what did you want? An audition? For me? A lifeguard? Yes, of course I'm butch enough. <laughs> Demoose! Get away from the wallpaper with those naked flames. <laughs> but it's not topless, is it? Oh, no can do. No, unless they stick me in a vest. No, I've got a scar from neck to navel following a mistaken tracheotomy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I only went in to get my nails filed. <laughs> yes, I am suing. Yes, for plastic surgery. No, not for my face, for the scar. No! <laughs> so the answer's no. So call me back when you've got an audition time for Demoose. Oh, and I'd better ask, um, 
How was your mother's thingy? Uh, your mother's funeral? <laughs> oh, yes. my God. Oh, dear. Yeah. Well, time's a great healer. Goodbye. <laughs> You're in good shape, Tom. It's only right a boy should look after himself. Do much sport. Well, a little bit of croquet if I'm in the country. Yeah. <laughs> I recently shared a small room with a country lad and we grew what can only be described as tomatoes. He'll be gutted, I'm here. I never said goodbye. Do you want to phone him? He's deaf in one ear. I don't know which one I'd get. <laughs> Are you telling me all this? I think we understand each other. Sometimes a man's got to do what a man's going to do. Uh -oh. Ain't that right, Tommy, baby? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Come to daddy. <laughs> oh, yes! <sir. laughs> oh, Fritz! Fritz, I always said I'd never do this with another actor. Oh, actors are so self-obsessed, aren't they? Always talking about themselves non-bloody stop. You don't think I'm like that, do you, Fritzy? Hey, you can tell me what you think. It's just that I think I've got a pretty good handle on myself. What do you say, hey? Self-obsessed? Me, me, me? <laughs> don't speak. You know, a lot of directors say that to me. <laughs> <laughs> Of the sunny Spain, where the Espana, por favor. Please be seated. Oh. <clears throat> There's something I have to tell you. Here, here, here. Take my hand. Take my hand. Oh. We've known each other for quite a long time now, haven't we? Been through a lot together, thee and me. Yes, Tom. But every relationship changes. And I think from now on we're going to be closer. Quite a bit closer. <gasps> Mummy told me there'd be days like these. <laughs> Hush! Please don't say a word. We're going to be... I can hardly bring myself to say it. Family. Oh, Tom. If only you told me yesterday, we could have had some sort of future together. But, Tom, I'm already spoken for. No, oh, I haven't fallen for you, you fool. I've fallen for your cousin. What? Oh, not our Simon with the dodgy eye. Tom, everyone thinks he's trying to get off with them. He could see both ends of a bus at the same time. <laughs> no, I've fallen for Fritz. <laughs> oh, you always do it, don't you? What? What do I always do? What? Fall for the straight blokes. Bloody old man, why can't you almost stick to your own salt? <laughs> I mean, it ain't as if there ain't enough of you to go around. <laughs> Every time I try and get off with a bloke, he turns out to be queer. <laughs> Fritz is gay. Bollocks. <laughs> Bollocks. He is. He's taking me to Spain with him. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. He had me on this coffee table not three minutes hence. <laughs> For an ex prosy. Oh, don't you start an old barrel. God, can't you Prozzy. at least be happy for me? No, you shag my Freddy. Fritz, can't you even get his name right? <gasps> oh my God. What? What? He's out? The press got onto his sexuality pretty quickly, didn't they? <laughs> no, Tom. That's Freddie Windrush, the most dangerous man in Britain. But... Escaped from prison and on the run. <laughs> Oh, my God! Oh, my God! I read his life story inside the mind of a psychopathic loony tune. <laughs> you said he was your cousin. Well, I can't tell you he really was, could I? You'd have hit the roof. Oh, I'm so sorry, Linda. Oh, was that really out of awe? Oh, forgive me for overreacting, but I've just been hugged by Hoxton's answer to Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're welcome to him, mate. I don't want nothing more to do with him. There's a 20 grand reward out for his arrest. Really? <laughs> I hate to think what he's doing now. He's probably strangling some innocent virgin and drinking her blood for afters. Oh, no, oh I've got to go. Left some kidneys in my slow cooker. Cheerio. Uh, that's better. I love a good tip out. <laughs> All right, darling? Got any scars? <laughs> I heard a bit of shouting when I was on the Kazi. The I'll take it, Tom's told you. Vile. <laughs> I'm sorry how to be like this, Linda. It's just his gash is bigger than yours. <laughs> Vile. Looking forward to Spain, Tom. 
vile. Will you stop doing that? That's very annoying. Um, what if um, Demuse fails her audition? Um, um, we won't be able to afford it, will we? Then I'll rob a bank. I can rob banks in my sleep. I'll do anything for you, Tom. I'll rob one now. But no, you see, the thing is, Freddy, Fritz, Fritz, is that my agent rang and she said I'd just been offered a really huge part in Harbour Lights and I'd be silly to turn it down. <laughs> but it's shit. <laughs> you didn't tell me. You don't tell me nothing no more. Please come with me to Spain, Tommy, baby. I don't think I can face life without you. <laughs> watch this, watch this. I'm gonna give the performance of a lifetime. Watch this. <laughs> I slag on the daddy now! <laughs> Wipe them! <laughs> right, now get in the bathroom and draw a bath! But I hate drawing. Oh, so do I. Can you do colouring in? <laughs> <laughs> Say it, Husey! And you don't you piss on my head and tell me that it's raining. <laughs> now get in the bathroom! You worked up quite a sweat earlier on, didn't you? You jail our slag! Sorry, Daddy, but you said my B.O. turned you on. Yeah, well, it don't anymore, do it. Now get in the bathroom. Consider it done. I am your obedient little puppy, and no mistake. Yeah. And if you touch your thing whilst I'm not looking, you'll have another bloody thing to look forward to, right? <laughs> now get out, you slag! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lindy, I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, fuck. I feel like I'm in an episode of Charlie's Angels. <laughs> but I figure if there's £20,000 to be got, I don't see why I shouldn't be the one to get it. Oi, and me, I've got you, Mia. Or is this really cruel? Oh, sod that, we're skinned. Yes. <laughs> Hello, police station Chantal speaking. How can I help you? Um, hello, Chantal. Um, I'm calling about Freddy the Stick Windrush. Oh, yeah? Listen, listen. We've got him here in our flat. No. That's outrageous. Bye, then. <laughs> Don't you want the address? Oh, go on then. We're not busy. 69A Paradise Passage, Kentish Town. Oh, tell us something we don't know. <laughs> what? You already knew? Oh, yeah, darling. In fact, we've got the rapid response on their way over. Should be round just about now. Oh. Where is he? Back, back oh, <laughs> his last words? Meow. What? Freddy said meow? No, Freddy's fine. It's your cat that got in the way. Oh, oh, oh. Right to me, Tom. I love you, baby. All right, what about me? Your pussy's in a bit of a mess. Oh, <laughs> oh he meant Eline. <laughs> I had a bad dream, Lindy. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, come on, come and get in with me. Oh, good. <laughs> I dreamt I was the, the cat from Coronation Street and everyone was being really horrible to me. Audrey Roberts said I was talentless. <laughs> Rita Fairclough said I had a really unconvincing purr. <laughs> purr of what? <laughs> No, purr, purr, purr. Oh. And then Freddy turned up and tried to drown me in one of Betty's hot pots. <laughs> oh, Tom. poor Tom. Yeah, Tom. I wonder what brought on, this on. <laughs> what do you bloody think brought this on? Uh, this is like the sound of music, isn't it? Yeah, so like it. Great analogy, Lynn. <laughs> no, because all the little kiddies get scared and they get into the bed with the nun and she sings downtown. <laughs> Oh, just think. We could have been £20,000 richer today. Oh. What would you have done with your half of the money? <laughs> well, I'd have given some to you and some to Daddy and I'd have spent the rest on clothes and well peace. <laughs> really? Well, I would have bought a theatre and I would have produced and starred in my own plays and people would have come from miles around to marvel at my showbiz genius. Oh. 
I feel better now. Yeah. <laughs> Time for sleepy kids. Right. Night, Lane. Night, night. I wonder who turned Freddy in. Maybe it was one of the neighbours who saw him smashing the window. Mm. Oh, it's a concurrent caboodle and conundrum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, talking to neighbours, I saw Beryl earlier. Mm. Off on our holidays again. Mm. Fortnight in Mauritius, on Concord, if you please. Well, <laughs> damn. But that cost her an arm and a leg. Mm. Mm. Well, night then. Night. Kiss Percy. Oh. <laughs> damn. Oh. She got the moolah. I said to her, I said, I bet that cost a pretty penny. Mm. She said, yeah, 20 grand. Mm. No. <laughs> wow! Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> oh, that was a good one, man. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Let it run out. That's what happens anyway. Yeah, that's what it does. Oh my god. I swear, man. <laughs> Even when Linda Linda finally gets lucky, she's still unlucky somehow, man. My goodness. These two are together, man. Oh, they're a match made in heaven, man. What else am I gonna say? Oh, make sure my hat's on straight. <laughs> Woo! Okay, that was a good one, y'all. That was a Gimme, 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 Season 2, Episode 4, Prison Visitor. Mm. Well, <laughs> number one, I'm not a cat person, so sorry, Puss Puss, man. You met your untimely demise, and I guess it's kind of going over my head a little bit. <laughs> um, oh, wait, what do they call it? The Moose, right? Or the Moose, did I got that right? Somebody let me know if I got it wrong. Um, <clears throat> well... I've uh, known quite a few people in my life that have been in prison before. Yeah, I know, man. I'm trippy like that. Um, but I'm sure we all have, so I'm not special. Um, damn, I don't know if... I wouldn't even call it desperate. It would just, I would call it an adventure if I were to have met a woman in prison and somehow, some way, we uh, found a way to meet up after she got out or escaped, <laughs> in this case. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, that was a trip, man. It was cool to know that Linda finally got some play. You know what I mean? She finally got some. And, um, yeah, so did Tom. <laughs> Same dude. <laughs> I swear. It's like, in here in the States, man, we are here, at least in Washington State, we got this thing called Crime Stoppers, man. We call it the Snitch Hotline. Yeah, man, I mean, to have the lady, um, the old lady, I forgot what her name was, man. I gotta get that right. Some of the characters' names I get jumbled up sometimes. I know there's Jez, and I know there's this woman. What the hell is her name? See, I'll, it'll come to me, I swear. But um, <clears throat> yeah, she got the money, man. And now that old lady's off to have some fun somewhere. Twenty grand, that's crazy. You know what? Um, when they say like, uh, I think I heard it before on a, a Catherine Tate clip that I watched, but they call it um, the uh, the currency. You know, they call it quid. Is that short for something? Somebody let me know. Because I, I heard somebody, I think it was um, Nan's uh, grandson talking about 15 quid or something like that. But somebody let me know what that is. I'd like to learn a little bit more about that too. But um, <clears throat> if you guys saw the expressions on my face, you know there were a few things that kind of threw me a little bit. Please school me in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. But uh, other than that, man, it was just a funny episode. I like when uh, Tom finally switched it up and uh, started using the... Am I pronouncing that right? The Cockney accent? You know what I mean? It, what is that? It, what, what is that again? Someone told me before, it's like a mix of something. I don't know. Please school me. You already know I'm into getting schooled. But uh, that was a really funny episode, man. Uh, it was just, um, I think where I left off in the last episode, because they didn't bring it up in this one, I think it was when Tom was supposed to get this big audition, but yet it was for somebody else instead of him. But they we clearly moved on from that. But, um, yeah, man, uh, I would love to have my own pet one day. Like, I haven't had my own pet cat, dog, or anything else since I was a little kid. There was uh, two um, two dogs. One was uh, a black lab, and, one was, and, and uh, the other was a lab shepherd. And I was Prince and Trixie, man. Mm, wonderful dogs. I have not had my own dog or any kind of uh, pet 
as a grown man. I haven't had one at all. You know, and I'm living here with my lady and all that. We've been together for like nine years now. But um, we have the little Shih Tzu. His name was Nico. And uh, I didn't like little dogs, you know, at all. I still don't really. But Nico is my little Shih Tzu dog, man. That's my pride and joy right there. So, yes. But uh, other than that, man, funny episode and uh, a funny ending, too. <laughs> I was waiting on him to get it. And, of course, that was the ending of the episode, man. But, yeah, I think this one is um, another funny one, man. I actually understood most of what I heard in this episode. There was a few phrases I didn't get and maybe some that I'd heard before. Um, yeah, I heard some before, like um, when you call someone a poof or something like that. That means you're gay. Or uh, the Nick is a prison, right? And um, I like how they always like use these little um, words that kind of just have these double meanings. You could just throw them in, like at the <laughs> oh man, he's like at the end he was getting dragged out by the cops saying your pussy's a bit of a mess. <laughs> That's just cold blooded, <laughs> and it works both ways too. <laughs> Oh, man. Thank y'all for tuning in for that one, man. That was amazing. Already, I can't wait to get to the next one. Every time I say that after each episode because it just becomes so much more true with each passing episode. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right there one more time. Uh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Season 2, Episode 4, Prison Visitor. And if you like that reaction, please hit them on the like button for me one more time. Subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell. And, of course, as always, leave a nice comment for your boy. Constructive critiques, leave a nice suggestion or request, and I'll throw a couple jabs, jokes, and zingers at me. Friendly dialogue, no drama here. All right, please and thank you for always remembering. So, yeah, this is going to be ADB TV wrapping this one up. One more again here. Uh, another funny episode of a great show. Um, these two together, man, they just continue to make magic, man. And I know I don't got that many episodes to go in this season alone, but then we got one more, and uh, hopefully. Um, if I can't find them one way, because like I, I looked and on the third season, there's a couple episodes missing. So somebody continue to let me know if uh, there's um, those missing episodes out there that I can get to. And if not, how can I get to them in some way? Or I might just have to find a way to buy the whole third season if they even got it for sale. But one way or another, I plan on finishing this show all the way through. And uh, it's going to be a fun one. I'm certain of it. So, yeah, thank you all for tuning in one more time, man. I had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, I'll be looking forward to uh, the comments of uh, certain phrases and certain situations that I missed out on. Always am um, always looking to get schooled on things that I have no clue about. And always looking forward to be called Yank for some reason. Uh, I guess... Some people might think it's a derogatory term me. I'm actually kind of uplifted by it. I don't know. Does that make me stupid? I don't know. Either way, it's a funny word. <laughs> so, yeah. Until next reaction. Love and appreciate y'all. Peace.